Hello everyone, Edward here at Windows Report, starting to believe Windows is trying to get into TV series with these weekly build releases. The improvement drama is getting more and more tense, so here's what's new in the Windows 11 build 22000.100. Probably the greatest news in this build is the rollout of chat from Microsoft Teams. Take note, this only happens to insiders in the dev channel, so not everyone will see it right away. So yeah, if you're eager to just see how it looks, make sure you're on the right channel. Other than that, I think the Teams chat looks clean and has three buttons and one of them is out of order because of course we need more spices for the upcoming releases. The Meet Now button is not available and apparently it's coming soon. Imagine in the future me talking to myself to show you how the Meet video call works. Funny, right? If you click on chat, you'll be directed to a standard chat window which has integration for emails, names and phone numbers, which I think it's cool, I guess. And you can also add groups, which I think it's very interesting. Just makes me think of the Facebook groups, but with a chat twist. From the chat window, you can also open Microsoft Teams for an expanded view of the whole Shazam. As well, from the chat, you can also sync your contacts. You also have a search icon and you can search names, phone numbers, groups. And for example, if I type John, it seems I have no friend called John, so I guess the search option works pretty well. For another great improvement, which could have easily be done in the latest preview along with the other taskbar thingies, the hidden icons fly out on the lower right of the taskbar has been updated. And guess what? To match the new visuals of Windows 11, of course. I think it looks good, I mean, it looks in sync, like all the other icon previews in the taskbar and folders with rounded edges. And that's pretty much it. Not very important in my opinion, but it makes it more suspenseful. Every week, every update. Full-blown drama. Just joking. Some people might not see it in the first place, but I got to see it, and Microsoft suggests you change your teams from the personalized settings, and then you'll be able to see the new rounded icons fly out. It's just a bug, I guess. When it comes to the notification center, Microsoft added the ability to quickly access focus assist settings. Just go to the notification center and on top you will see the focus assist settings bar. You can click and hopefully be directed to those settings because out of three times or so, only once have I been directed to focus assist settings. So I guess it's work in progress. Conclusion, focus assist settings in the notification bar at the moment helps as much as being an optimist who sees the half full side of the glass. With luck, you can be directed to the full side. Jokes aside, another improvement comes to taskbar icons in terms of notifications, so when a background activity from an app requires attention, the app will flash on the taskbar to get your attention. Basically how it works is the icon will flash in a subtle way and you'll see a red pill under the app icon. For me and probably for many users, this doesn't work yet properly as I only get the red pill under the app icon. And I'm not even Neo from the Matrix. My jokes simply get more and more sarcastic at this time. Never mind. Another simple but effective change is the touch keyboard icon in the taskbar which has been adjusted to be more consistent with the looks and size of other icons in the corner of the taskbar. For me personally, this doesn't really do the trick as it looks less understandable. Being smaller, I have to remember it's the keyboard icon because it lost a bit of visual meaning. But to compensate with a greater change, the taskbar calendar flyout will now collapse down when clicking the chevron in the top right corner. So this gives you more space for notifications. I think it's helpful in many other ways, like when you have a deadline and you're tired to see how fast you're approaching it, you just close the calendar and forget about it. Honestly now, I think it's a useful change for those who have a lot going in the notifications area, so pretty sure if you're a person with a lot of tasks, you also know what day is today, and you don't need the calendar, so make use of that space. Thanks Windows. And for the cherry on the top, one less great improvement is the Microsoft Store animations. The navigation now seems more fast and fun, but this is strictly when selecting an app or a movie or whatever you're interested in. To me, it feels more like a ninja move. I can already imagine the karate move sound like... You know what I mean? I think it's cool, but there's nothing else about it. Probably if you have a PC that meets only the minimum requirements, it will look like a beginner's karate move, or even get stuck. That was it. In conclusion, the series of updates will probably continue, and that means next week we will meet again with new changes and new improvements. So what do you think? Let us know in the comments section. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.